Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday, and as always, be sure to like and provide comments. What if you had the ability to store data without the fear of it degrading over time? A researcher at the University of Southampton in the UK may have an answer for this. 5D Optical Data Storage sometimes known as Superman Memory Crystal, is a nanostructured glass for permanently recording 5D digital data. Some of the characteristics that separate one storage medium from another are things like how much data it can store, how tamper-proof they are, their average lifespan, and how much power is needed to keep the data from degrading. This is really a fascinating and a major technology breakthrough. This storage device is capable of storing hundreds of terabytes, and most likely much more in the future as the technology evolves, for a time span longer than the age of the current universe. Peter Kazansky, who founded the method with his team at the University of Southampton, claimed the 5D technology was discovered by accident. The nanostructures Kazansky is talking about are tiny, etchings that can be written on glass with powerful lasers. These nanostructures can be used to record and store data optically, much like a CD or a DVD does. But the difference is they are written inside the glass where they cannot be damaged as easily. Currently, the memory crystal is capable of storing up to 360 terabytes worth of data for billions of years. Just let that sink in. Since 2018, the technology is in production use by the Arch Mission Foundation. For those who don't know, Arch Mission Foundation is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to create multiple redundant repositories of human knowledge around the solar system, including Earth. So let's dive into some of the technical details of how information is written and read from this type of technology. Writing is done with a femtosecond laser. This is a technique in optics by which a laser can be made to produce pulses of light in extremely short durations on the order of picoseconds, 10 to the minus 12s, or femtoseconds, 10 to the minus 15, hence the name. Because they are housed under such a protective surface, each etching can be extremely small without being damaged. The nano gradients are only 20 nanometers in diameter and the distance between two adjacent spots is only 3.7 micrometers, a millionth of a meter. This is, allows for a lot of information to be written on a very small surface. In terms of reading from this, it can be read with a combination of an optical microscope and a polarizer. Fused quartz is the material that's used in this technology. The concept is the bulk storing of data optically on the fused quartz, which is renowned for its high chemical stability and resistance. In terms of durability, this technology is second to none. Testing the durability using accelerated aging measurements shows that the decay time of the nanogradients is 3 times 10 to the 20th years at room temperature, roughly 30 degrees Celsius. Keep in mind, the age of the universe is 13.8 times 10 to the 9. So this type of technology can basically outlive the universe multiple times over. It can also withstand temperatures of 1000 degrees Celsius before there is degradation to its structure. This means that the 5D disks are safe from any kind of natural destruction, from heat to cold, as long as they are not dropped or smashed by something heavy as they are still made of glass composites. Is this technology really using five dimensions? The format has a novel method of storing data called five-dimensional. This is more for marking purposes since the device has three physical dimensions, X, Y, and Z, and no exotic higher dimensional properties. According to the University of Southampton, the five-dimensional disks have tiny patterns printed on three layers within the disks. Depending on the angle they are viewed from, these patterns can look completely different. This may sound a little bit like science fiction, but in actuality, it's basically a really fancy optical illusion. 
In this case, the five dimensions inside of the disks are the size and orientation in relation to the three dimensional positions of the nanostructures. So conceptually, five dimensionality means that one disk has several different images depending on the angle that one views it from and the magnification of the microscope used to view it. So basically, each disk has multiple layers of micro and macro level images. Better yet, let's compare to traditional optical storage we know. A traditional CD or DVD uses holes and bumps to record data as ones and zeros. When a laser passes over a bump, it will reflect back and record the data as a one. When there is no bump, it's recorded as a zero. These two dimensions can also be accompanied by multiple layers, making three dimensions to record data on an X, Y, and Z axis. 5D storage utilizes the same 3D technology, but can also add two more dimensions. After experimenting, Kazansky and his team were able to polarize the nanostructures and using slow access orientation and the strength of the retardedness, they were able to change the speed of the light traveled through them. These speed changes can also be recorded at separate values, meaning each nano grading can represent five different values. So is this technology available to the public? Well, no. At the moment, 5D technology is not readily available to the public but the creators are eventually looking to commercialize that technology. At the moment, the equipment is very expensive, but the same thing could be said about any technology in, the, in its very, very early stages. In terms of practical application, technology dominates our lives. More and more of our personal data is stored on digital devices, including mobile devices, PCs, cameras, servers, and other devices. The truth is, no medium for data storage lasts forever. If we look at some of the current data storage that we have at our fingertips, hard drives last generally about five years max, DVDs about six, flash drives about 10, depending on how many write cycles, magnetic tape, 20 years max, and M disks a little over a thousand years. So this technology blows away anything that currently exists. So far, the team has made copies of the King James Bible, Isaac Newton's optics, and the Magna Carta in order to preserve them for the future. Dr. Kazansky and his team also recently presented a copy of the United Nations Universal Declaration of Human Rights to the UN, and he claims it will survive the human race. This technology can be produced on a commercial scale for organizations with large archives, such as the National Archives, museums, libraries and private organizations. So there definitely is some near-term application that it could be used for. There are questions, however, about whether or not glass data storage technology will support multiple writing processes. While this may not present a serious problem in terms of archival storage, it does limit the technology for widespread personal and commercial use. One unexpected negative consequence that I could see coming from this type of technology is that with all this data in one location, whether it be personal data or company information, it becomes a whole lot easier to steal. And there is a security premium achieved when data and knowledge is distributed. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.